Hey guys, welcome to Mahjong Talk. I'm your host Peter Bong, and let's just get started on this game. Uh, shout out to all my subscribers out there, and uh, I hope you enjoy today's episode. It's episode four, yo. So now we just gotta wait for uh, people to engage in the game with us, and let's begin. I got new headphones, <laughs> so uh, hopefully these headphones will last me a good time. Uh, if not, then, you know, just another thing I gotta use until I can't use it anymore. <laughs> okay, now the hard part, waiting for the game to engage. I was really excited to do this video, actually, because uh, when I woke up this morning, I was like, oh, I'm really engaged to be with the audience. <laughs> um, you know, I'm really grateful to all of you who subscribed, you know. Um, it's a lot. It means a lot to me. Okay, let's get this game going. The one thing I don't like about Mahjong Soul is that you're only given these type of characters, uh, only two characters to pick from. Uh, I had to basically purchase, like, you know, the ability to have a chance to get, like, the male characters I have. Um, I wish that kind of, they would change that, at least, give us at least one default guy character and one female character. I think that would even things out, but then again, you know, <laughs> they have to make money somehow, right? Okay. Oh, I also purchased a new book. Uh, I love reading, so, you know, I want to make sure I make good quality content for you guys. I don't know if the camera caught that, but I hope it did. I mean, I don't know how far this channel is going to go, but I know what why I'm making this channel. I'm making this channel just to basically engage with you guys. And, you know, I sometimes don't know what to talk about, so I'm just basically just going to run my mouth until I forget uh, everything I just said. So, you know, and plus it's early in the morning, so I feel very energized. I'm going to try to challenge myself to basically keep my hand closed because I always have this habit of opening my hand up and I kind of got tired of it so now I'm just actually going to challenge myself to basically keep my hand closed. I always do this with my friends. I always end up opening because I feel like I'm not going to be able to get those tiles that I want. But now let's try to see if I can do this all closed. Because like I notice that whenever I open a lot a lot of my opponents are like closed and I'm like, damn. Like everyone's a pro compared to me. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's get rid of that. You know, I don't know if I'm gonna be a YouTuber, to be honest. I mean, I feel energized today, actually. Like whenever I wanna make a video, I keep thinking about you guys and everything. And you know, like, most of my subscribers are my friends, but at the same time, like, I'm grateful to the, those that actually, that I don't personally know, but actually subscribe to me because, you know, they feel like I can give them something, and I feel good about that. I feel good about that. Okay. Uh, even if you don't play Mahjong, like, it's a really fun game to play. Uh, just, just to ease your nerves, because it's not all about strategy, like, it doesn't matter how smart you are or anything. It's basically all about luck. Um, but you can have a little bit of a strategy here and there. Um, no, I'm not going to take that. Oh. Well, still losing points either way. <laughs> I hope you guys are not offended by my bad head, actually. Uh, I always wake up like this. Uh... But I did moisturize my face, so no dry skin. Uh, any of you guys suffered from like bad cases of acne when you grow up? I had bad acne when I grew when I was growing up, like in high school and actually middle school it started. And basically in middle school I had really bad acne, bad acne actually. These, these earphones work really well because I feel like I can't keep my voice sounds muffled, but I don't know if it's going loud in the microphone. Uh, so, you know, 
I hope, like, my voice is coming out okay. Uh, no, I don't need that north there. Yeah, check out Mahjong Soul. It's, it's just a fun game to kill time. You can download it on your phone. I'm not sponsored by them, by the way. <laughs> I wish I was, but I'm not. Um, it's just fun to play. It's just fun to play. Plus, you can play with people online from people from China, Hong Kong, Japan. I don't know if they have any people from Korea here. Maybe they do. I don't know. If anyone's Korean and is watching, uh, please leave in the comments if you play Mahjong Soul. Yeah, so basically this channel is just this channel is just basically about creating content for you guys, but also it's about creating community. So I've been reading the book that I showed you, and uh, it was all about I was reading the part about engaging with your community and figure out what your community is or what your uh, audience is. So I've been trying to figure out exactly who am I actually trying to get in touch with. And I'm trying to get in touch with people that really want to grow. It doesn't matter where they want to grow at. Like, you know, they want to earn more money. They want to improve their skills. They want to, or both in that sense. Because I think everyone has something to contribute. They just haven't found that right thing that gives them meaning in life. And we're so used to like doing office jobs that don't give us any purpose or meaning. And I think that's very unfortunate. But we also can't victimize ourselves based on our circumstances. So for me, I work in a factory, so I don't earn that much money. <laughs> um, but I still love my job because it's filled with like people that I can actually like greet and say hello to, and I don't have to worry about you know people just acting like high schoolers, let's say. So you know, uh, you have to be grateful for what you got. Um, I'm lucky to actually be able to live with my parents and save a lot of money. Uh, well, I'm not rich. I'm not rich. I will say that. I'm not rich. But, you know, I try to make my money work for me. Ooh. This person getting really lucky today. And that's the thing you don't learn, like, in high school. Like, you don't really learn that much. I'm not downing education. I actually love education, by the way. That's the Asian in me. Uh, and I guess that's one of the parts of being proud to be Asian American. Um... Because I remember I watched a video by uh, one of the YouTubers I watch, uh, Matt Lau. Uh, she made a video about being proud about being Asian American. And I had to think about that question for a long time because I always thought of myself as more Americanized. But at the same time, I love Japanese culture. <laughs> I love uh, learning Korean and Japanese. Uh, I watch Korean dramas and uh, Japanese dramas and anime as well. So, you know, I I'm a nerd that way. Um, and I'm also a hopeless romantic, so, you know, uh, there's a lot of things that I, I would like to do. I would definitely like to go to Korea and, uh, Japan, mainly Tokyo. I, I never really looked into, like, Hokkaido or any other region of Japan. I should, though. I should. One of my best friends actually went to Japan, like, I think before the pandemic. Like, I think it was a year or two before the pandemic. He had a great time there. And me, actually, like, I actually studied Japanese in university, so I feel like I have to actually use it. I haven't fully lost it. I haven't fully lost it, but I feel like I've lost, like, some of the vocabulary I learned back then. But, you know, like, I'm studying Korean, like, on and off. So, oh, dang, this person is winning, like, all the time. It must be their lucky day. <laughs> At least I'm in second place. That's not bad. Okay. So, let's try going around here. Usually when I get hands, I don't even know where I'm going for. <laughs> I would see like one hand, but then I get tiles that tell me I should have gone for another hand. <laughs> That's sometimes the unfortunate part about the game.
If this person keeps winning, we're, in our, we're probably going to have a long game. Uh, probably this. If anyone is better than me in this game, which is probably likely, you guys could put it in the comments down below and basically say, oh, why'd you discard that? Why'd you do, do that? And everything like that. Uh, I actually would encourage that because uh, I know my game is not that great. I probably should have gone for all nines at once. <laughs> I probably should have done that. Oh well. Yeah, I'm probably gonna play like one game today. You know, because uh, I noticed that all the videos were like an hour long, and I know people are busy. <laughs> so I decided to like basically just play one game, make it a little short. It's probably gonna be like maybe like a half an hour or so. But getting back to what I was saying about being proud of being an Asian American, uh, I always thought of myself as just an Asian American. I never thought of anything like being proud about as much. But I guess like for me, I think being I think it goes into two parts. Like I'm proud to basically be Asian because it gives me a sense of duty and responsibility. Um, I'm proud to be an American because it gives me the chance to be an individual, or not think as collectively as most Asians do. Which I think is a good thing because uh, you need to have a proper balance. You can't really have like more or the other, because I think that's the reason why so many in so many Asian countries, especially in Japan and Korea, they have a high rate of suicides because they're so collectivist to the point where the person is crushed by society. And for me, I don't want to create a community like that. Okay, I think I know what I want to go for now. So, you know, I'm all about gauging anybody. I probably shouldn't have done that. Who cares? Let's see here. Oh, this person opened. And I noticed I opened again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I gotta stop opening my hands so many times. Uh, get the tiles I want, but I'm probably not going to get them in this round. If you if you guys want to like play with us, like me and my friends on Mahjong Soul, join the uh, Discord server. I set it up and you know, you can introduce yourself and I always check the server like every day to see if there's like new people on it. So, you know, I will personally give you a welcome if you introduce yourself in the in the general chat. Okay, good. That person didn't win off that tile. Uh, hopefully I can get something. Okay. okay, that's something. But I can't get any of the tiles I want. <laughs> I don't have a three of circles. Uh, yeah. Discard this one. Oh, there's no more two of circles either? What? Oh, man. This is bad. I need to get like another circle that actually is available I can get. So I can at least get a full flush. Oh, never mind. Well, that person's victory streak just kind of depleted. Especially with that. Oh, they didn't get Hong Kong. Okay. I was hoping that, I was thinking they were going to get the 8,000 points. Uh, so, you know. So basically my channel is not basically just playing Mahjong, it's just basically just me engaging with people. It's just Mahjong is just a good background for it all. Because it gets my brain moving. But also it lets me chill because it's based on luck. <laughs> That's the one thing I, I'm also proud about being Asian American is that luck. <laughs> we always have a little bit of luck on our side. Not always, but you know, luck is can play a factor in life. That's why we always have like a lot of like lucky colors like red. And I don't know if there's any other lucky colors besides gold, I guess. Gold and red. Those are a good combination, especially for Chinese culture. I'm like a quarter Chinese. I'm not full Chinese though. I don't know how to speak Mandarin. 
I've dated like uh, girls that were Chinese. One was uh, Canton, uh, Hong Kongese and one was uh, Fujonese. A Fujonese is just a, uh, an area of China. She didn't know how to speak Mandarin either, uh, even though she learned it in university. Uh, she spoke like Fujonese, but she couldn't speak like to the level of a fluent speaker. But, you know. Okay, what should I go for? Ooh, I think I can go for a half flush. Hopefully, I can get this. I want to at least win once in this game, especially since I'm the dealer. I'm east, like this little E here. So the the red means that uh, I'm the dealer, and the E is east. So east, south, west, and north. Hopefully, I can win at least one one part of this game. Uh, let's see here. There's a lot of bamboos out. I guess people don't need them, which is good because I have these bamboos here. So I might as well dispose of these bamboos here. Uh, yeah, I know you guys can't see like this side of my screen, like uh, the right side of my screen because the camera is basically taking that part. But like I said, the important part of the video is not the game. It's basically me just engaging with you guys. That's basically what it is about. And usually when I'm home alone, I'm always talking to myself in this room. Like, it's just therapeutic to actually like, you know, talk to yourself and have your thoughts run. As long as you're aware that you're talking to yourself and it's not like some random voice that you think you're hearing. It's like for people that really wish they were famous, they pretend they were doing interviews. I sometimes do that, but I act like I'm like either a professor of mathematical physics <laughs> or uh, someone that really inspires people to get into science. I would like to be part of those people. I'm actually trying to make another channel that's based on my journey to learn physics and mathematics together because when I look at YouTube channels that talk about math and physics, they talk about them separately on different domains. Uh, sometimes they do put like mathematical um, applications into physical operations, I mean systems, but it doesn't feel as if you're engaging with the math and the physics at the same level in balance. So I'm trying to figure out how to make that channel as well. So I'm making like two channels, but at the same time, I'm only focused on this one because I don't even have a hundred subscribers or 10 subscribers for that matter. I mean, I'm not ungrateful for that, by the way. I'm grateful that you guys subscribe and are engaged with me to actually join me on this little journey that I'm doing. So this YouTube channel is basically a, the journey it's the journey of it all. Okay, this is going pretty well. I probably might not have to edit. <laughs> uh, yesterday, I basically was looking for an editing software, but I couldn't put it in because there was so much space on my C drive. And it took me forever to actually empty the C drive because I was trying to figure out why is the C drive so cramped? Because I don't have games on this computer. I don't, I'm not a gamer. So how is it that my C drive got so full? And I realized that the hibernation mode was on. So I had to actually go into the command prompt to basically disengage the hibernation function. And it took me like the whole day to figure it out. I mean, I would basically take breaks. I would basically look up on Google as like, how do I turn up, how do I lower my storage for the C drive? And I kept looking, I kept entering the temp files, I, I kept doing different command prompts. I even like restarted my computer to basically just make sure that the C drive was actually functioning properly. Nothing worked. And then basically all I had to do was go into the command prompt and like turn off the hibernation mode. And I was like, wow, I actually gained like two gig, like 10 gigs just by doing that. I don't even know if I completely cleared it all, but at the same time, I actually got back in the blue, which is, uh, which I'm very satisfied about. simple hand now. Uh, like 
So this person is probably going for White Dragon. Uh, no, I don't need that knight. Ooh, but I would like that 5, though. Oh, I think this person's going for a half flush. Um, no, I don't need that. Oh, can I keep my hand closed? That's uh, I gotta remember the challenge. Keep my hand closed. See if I can declare reach. Reach is basically I just put a thousand points up for bet, and I basically bet that I'm gonna win. I'm like one tile away from winning if I declare reach. Hopefully I can get the tile I need. I just need like another eight or another four, and I think that would be good. Um, let's see here. Let's see. This person is. Uh, yeah, why not? Dang it. I knew I said I wasn't going to open, but, you know. Sorry, guys. Probably next time. <laughs> I'll challenge myself next time to keep it close. Uh, if you guys have any input of what I can do for the channel to improve it, I mean, this, as much as your creation, is my creation for this channel. So, you know. If you have any tips or advice you want to give me through the comments to make the to improve the channel, to improve my engagement with you guys, uh, put it down in the comments. I'm not on social media except Discord. So, you know, if you want to engage with me on social media, go on the Discord. I always check it. Dang. Well, I was wrong. They were going for an uh, all palm hand. Toy toy. I guess that's it for this episode. I know it wasn't as long as the last ones, but I know you guys are all busy people. So I have to adjust to your schedule as well. So I like to make sure that people have enough time to do whatever they want to do. Okay. Ooh, got some silver from that. Or copper, I should say. All right, so that's it for today's episode of Mahjong Talk. I'm Peter Vaughn. If you like what you saw, if you're not subscribed and you like what you saw, uh, consider hitting the subscribe button and I will hopefully engage with you as well. So positive vibes to you guys. Until next time.